Hey guys and welcome to Armored Warfare Tank Preview. The guys over at Armored Warfare allowed me access to a vehicle that's been highly requested to be brought over from the Russian server. That is the new premium main battle tank, the T-64A Hunter. Now in the interest of disclosure, right now the tank is not obtainable outside of a few Armored Warfare content creators who have been given codes to give out in their streams and their videos. However, in the future this vehicle is going to be owned through Global Operations when that finally gets released. Could be a few weeks away now as well as the chance to be able to get your hands on it through a charity stream later on down the line. Much like the BWP Puma was able to get your hands on when the Stack Up charity stream happened. So what is it about this tank people are actually looking forward to? Well the vehicle is a tier 5 main battle tank. It's an upgrade to the tier 4 T64. Upgraded armour, 212mm of lower frontal armour, 314 on the front of the turret, makes it a decent upgrade over the tier 4 in that frontal armour department. Although nowhere near as strong as 330 of lower armor on the T-72, its equivalent Russian tier MBT. Although the sides, like all main battle tanks, are pretty much nothing to write home about. However, the one thing it does get compared to that T-64 and the tier 5 T-672 is that explosive reactive armor, which gives it that increased protection to shape charges like heat shells and to anti-tank guided missiles. Although with the lowest hit points of any main battle tank of its tier, you are actually going to need some reasonably decent armour to try and negate that HP loss. That said, that decent upgraded armour, it does suffer from the same weak spots that most Russian tanks do seem to have. As you can see on the screen now, lower plate issue plates pretty much every single Russian tank from tier 1 to tier 10. The top bar of the turret just below the machine gun turret, slightly weird but that is penable every single time, I haven't had a problem with that and either side of the gun mantlet in the lower part of the turret. Although this does seem to be a bit trolly, uh, it's not 100% penetration every time from my testing, so in a panic you can aim there and hope. Normally the driver's hatch would be as well, on most tanks it is. For some reason it doesn't seem to be a hitbox right now. Um, if you aim at the top of the driver's window, it actually seems to go straight through the window and knocks out the turret ring fairly often, doesn't in the, into the driver or anything. Don't ask me why, but that does seem to be that way right now. The gun though, well it gets a slightly better upgraded uh, 125mm gun that the stock T72 gets. 404 damage, 309mm penetration, it's actually a pretty decent gun for its tier. Not as good as the T72's fully upgraded gun, but it's still better than something like the Chieftain Mark V's gun or the Type 80, although those are faster firing. It is pretty competitive, and with an aiming time of 2.6 seconds roughly, it's pretty quick to aim as well. Gun depression, 8 degrees, also pretty decent. Once again, it's not too bad. It's not amazing, but it's not bad enough so it's going to cause any major issues. And actually for a Russian tank, it's pretty decent. The main thing that the gun falls down on though, like I just sort of alluded to, is its reload. Which can be brought down with retrofits, but standard sits at a rather high 10 second reload which is easily the slowest firing gun of its tier. So far the tank though, it's served me pretty damn well. Okay, it's not the best tank in its tier, but it's definitely not the worst either. Gun handling is pretty damn decent despite that long reload, and the tanks perform pretty well. Like the Mark V Chieftain of the same tier, you can get the T-64A Hunter into a hull down position, and you can be incredibly difficult to, uh, to flush out, and then you can put that pretty decent gun to work. Just remember that this, more than most MBTs of the tier, mobility really isn't your thing. Since moving around, I mean, the upper, ar the upper armoring from the standard T-64, you are slower than the tier 4. Although it's not so bad that it actually feels painful to move around. The vehicle does come with two retrofit slots as well, one of which is maneuverability. Personally, I have a tier 3 upgraded transmission in there for more acceleration, and that does help this feel a little bit more mobile, although that doesn't really help the top speed. You can see in the footage, I actually rolled around quite a bit with this, and the thing that surprised me was just how good this gun felt on the move. I landed quite a few shots on the move while playing this, which was awesome. The Hunter isn't massively outstanding in anything it does, to be honest, and I've done pretty well in every single game that I've actually played in it so far. And that's because while this isn't outstanding, it is pretty solid. And in the hands of someone that is not particularly good at PvP still, that I'm not great at PvP right now. But the gun handling, it's not bad. Maneuverability, not bad. Neither's the armor. 
but the sum of the parts add up to one pretty decent tank. Plus a T64 with ERA, this thing looks badass. Not entirely sure about the Bumblebee paint job however. Hopefully everyone will get the chance to get one eventually. I do have some codes to give away in a live stream, which will probably be sometime during the next couple of weeks, so keep an eye out on my channel for that live stream announcement. As always guys, many thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this tank review. Not done one of these in a while, so it's good to be getting back into the swing of things again. And as always, I shall see you in the next video.